Tank plays. Donkey, I heard the donkey. Hello everyone, amazing Game 111 here, welcoming you back to Banjo Tui. Oh boy, and we're going into fuel storage this time. Last time we began the episode. What? Last time we began the episode. Not the first time I've uh, made a mistake with an intro. Like last time it was pretty sloppy, and then that one FNAF World episode, oh boy, it sucked with the intro. It's like last time we we ended the episode. So yeah, great job, Tag. I really gotta work on Let's Plays. I really gotta script a prop. Mother. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, it's a little spacecraft! There's a little spacecraft! It's all spazzing about in that little box over there. Let's go let him out. We can't let him out because we don't have the transformation yet. Oh no. God damn it. What's going on in there? Bleep. I'm trapped in this mine by that black tower. Bleep. Can I, can I break him out? I can't get on top of him and break him out. It's okay, little fella. I'll be back. I promise. I'll be back. I'll be back with an explosion. You know, I've been practicing my glitch trap. Like, my rebellion glitch trap voice. It's like, there's other people who can do it good. Like, people that try to pull off Vapor the Gamer's glitch trap from rebellion. But, solid opinion. You gotta be British in order to pull it off. Either you have to be you have to be Vapor the Gamer, or you just have to be British. Otherwise, you, you can't pull it off, okay? It doesn't have that same charm. I think it's because, like, we're adults trying it. Our voices are too high. Your voice needs to be, like, naturally high, like mine is. Let's learn to smooth and jam just real quick, and I'll go more into that. Alright. Alright, Beak Boyonet. Another use for the feather freak. Make good use of our pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Press B to give him a poke. I got it right this time. It actually sounds good. That'll be all. Yes, missed. Oh, God damn it. Why isn't he doing the thing? Do the thing, damn it. I want you to do the thing. Son of a bitch. But yeah, um, glitch trap. Not many people could pull up his voice too well. That's not me complaining. It's just... <clears throat> Pardon me. But still, um, like, you can, you can be not British and pull it off, but it's a super, it's like a big advantage being British, being able to pull off that voice. It's like, well, when the battle was going on, one of the Freddies opened a portal to my world, and when I came through, explosion went off right beside me and knocked me out for the majority of the fight. Then I just woke up a couple of minutes ago, only to be tied up. Yeah, much like that. That's the closest you're gonna get when it's not Vapor the Gamer voicing Glitch Trap, I think. So, uh, while I was rambling about um, stupid old Mal here, um, we. Oh, sh. No, I wasn't supposed to do that. Now look what you varmints have done! Y'all better get out while you still can! Yeah, we just learned that move, only for me to forget about it. <laughs> We're here to clean the pipes! Or did you forget about it? <laughs> Well, with all that banging and a hollering, another box of TNT sticks escaped. Yeah, I know. So what we're supposed to do is basically poke a bunch of TNT and not blow it up with our f***ing eggs. Jesus Christ, get it right, Tag. Right, poke him in the face. And then as soon as you poke him, um, there's a timer that's going to start off. So you got to be quick on your feet here. There's 15 in total that you got to kill. There we go, like that guy. Um, what else is there to talk about while we're going around killing TNT? Um, the Mario movie hasn't come out yet because it's only February 1st, so yeah. But I'm sure it's gonna be really good. We got the Cat Mario clip, which is cool. Like, now you die. We heard Donkey Kong say, now you die. We live in a timeline where that was a thing that happened. That actually happened in our timeline. Holy sh. Die! Come back, you look. Bro, excuse me? Die! Die! Thank you. God, what the f happened there? God, you're gonna try and get in its way so I'm shooting you with eggs, and then you're gonna try and trick me into shooting it? Nice try. Aha! Uh -huh. This place kinda reminds me of, um. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but it very much reminds me of um, Doctor Who's Adventures, this area. So what's the problem then? 
You have all that power. Why aren't you using it, eh? Pretty good. Jam... jam uh, what, what was his name? Um, the Jam Jar. Very good at Doctor Hooves, and I will say that my friend Little Owl... If he tried to do a Jam Jar... Um, Freaking Doctor Who's like he would no one would be able to tell the difference. I know no one would be able to tell the difference. Alright, we got a hundred seconds to kill the last three, and I think I know where they are. They're up one level, aren't they? Puss! I don't know why I censored myself there and stopped myself. I can just cut it out of the video. I can censor my swearing. Uh ah! Boop! Okay, there should be two more. But this isn't carefully. To the left. Yeah. I'm glad I have surround sound with these headphones. Yeah, I got new headphones, by the way, guys. Fing winning. Um, oh, God, we got fing one minute. Okay, it was on my left, so I have to assume it's here somewhere. Ah, no, not you. Go away. Right, up here. Okay, one. Ah! No, die! I said. Oh god, there's one left. Where could he be? Where could he be? Uh, uh, uh. Um. Ah! Uh. God, what do I do? What do I do? He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I'm just listening carefully, guys. I'm not even gonna worry about killing that guy. Shit! Ten seconds! Ah! I'm gonna die! Brrr! No! 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 He's not that way! He's not that way! No! 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 no. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Where is he? Where is he? Ah! ah! No! Oh! It wasn't my fault, Bill. It it got away. Whoops! It slipped. <laughs> well, I'm gonna cut back to you guys when I actually uh, do that sh right. God damn it! Focusing too much talking about vapor the hot water game. Of God, 15 seconds. Sh Wait, there he is! Yes, getting a little. F yeah. Much obliged to your partners. How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Yeah, we went through this sh twice, so I better get something good out of this. Sh Mm mm mm. And let me guess, like Tarzan's place, you're gonna make me find a way out of here. You're gonna for you're not gonna like force me out in a cutscene. God damn it! I gotta find my own way out. Shitty shitty shitty. Well, you can take the last of my eggs and you can fuck off. Yes, that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Awesome. Hopefully, we can get this well done in just two videos. That would be a massive step up from. Uh, the first world. Yeah, I'll take that f***ing jiggy. Thank you. Goodbye! Mr. Bully and Bill, whatever. You know they barely escaped the Bullet Bill Mario connection. And they did that sh** on purpose. Like, Rare seemed to cut sh** incredibly close on purpose. Especially with Conker. Like, with the Matrix, they barely got away with that, apparently. So, uh, we went to fuel storage, so, and we can't do this little minecart thing until we have the boom boom explosion power, so, there we go. Let's go and get to the boom boom explosion power up then, shall we? Oh, it's not really a power up, it's more of a transformation, but you get the idea. You know, you can't spell transformation without trans. Transgender transformation. That's not me making a jab at transgender people. I obviously have a respect for transgender people. In fact, I know a couple. Sorry. Yes, I have a globo. Thank you. I do have a globo. You're right. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Woo! I wonder how, like, baking hot this thing is because there's steam emanating from it. Of course, the magic would be like the magic would make it so it's warm enough for Banjo when he goes in. But that Globo probably burned his skin. So it's a detonator. Yeah, Wamba obviously invented the detonator. There's no humans except for Wamba, by the way. I want to call Grunty a human, but uh, I don't know. Uh, right.
Right, let's use this detonator for power then. Ah, get away! Stupid. Also, the only time like blowing up doesn't hurt you is when you use it like this as a power up. I learned the hard way that you don't even need to. <laughs> you don't even need to press the detonation button when you're next to like an explosion wire, and it it just connects itself. Oh God, there's this. F ah, it's this fucking bird. God, not the bird. Okay, let's 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 see what we got over here. Over here, I need you to help me out of this fray fray fr fr frightful fr predicament. Who might you be? I'm Canary Mary. And they used to send me down mines to check for Gaius. If I died, they know it wasn't safe. <laughs> nice. I could think of more pleasant jobs. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry. I'll get Kazooie here to... Smash. The cage open. If I must. Alright. Ow! Yeah, blowing up does actually hurt you. Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. Yeah, it is. And she, she flies away. She's a hideous creature, by the way. She looks more like a human in bird cosplay. But she can actually fly. And that means you can fly too, cosplayers. Dress up as a bird and you can fly too. Red Bull gives you wings. I don't know if that whole story my mum told me as a kid of like there was someone who actually drank enough Red Bull thinking they could fly and grow wings and shit and they jumped off a building and like they survived but they broke like their legs and their like their arm. And uh they they sued Red Bull for um a couple million quid. Not the not the most harmless way to get rich, but um, you know, I guess that person was just super desperate for money. Either that or they were drunk and they came up with the idea of like, that Red Bull must really make me fly. Whee! <laughs> in healthy style, just f***ing breaks his limbs, bro. See, I am not afraid in this day and age to make these f***ing... I can't believe, like, I could get cancelled for making these kinds of jokes and references and shit. Like, Twitter could cancel me for joking about the fact that someone actually jumped off a building and nearly died from Red Bull. But I'm like, at this point in my career, my YouTube career, I'm like, who gives a shit? It's like, I will make jokes about whatever the flying f I want to make. So, okay, so what was that other place that uh, needed the detonation? The detonation. <laughs> Sounded like a f***ing cat there. Wow. Slowly Tag is becoming more and more of a furry. Also, Murder Drones Episode 3 drops in 16 days! Woo! Yeah! Oh, I'm excited! Have we gone this way? Yes, we did, but now we can actually go in here. No, no, get away. Go off! Yeah, yeah. Just jump towards you just to spite you. Cause... Light the fuse! Ah! Thank you. You know, I actually had an idea for Five Nights at Tag's World, which I just originally planned to just, well, I now plan to just call Tag's World, which is like a FNAF World-esque game, that, uh, an idea that was totally not stolen from me by the hottest dog or anything. Kidding. Love you, hottest. Oh no, there's just another way to get in here. It's not important. We don't need to do this. But yeah, um... I had an idea for Tags World, and I still have the drawing concept of it, and I, you know, I might still make the game if I figure out how to make games in Click, in click Team. Um, there was an idea for a boss called um, Dynamite Dominic, which looked very much like how Banjo looks like in this transformation. Would have, very, would have been a very faithful little reference to uh, what this is, what Banjo looks like now. Also expanding the idea of, like, you know, if if there is one transformation of this, then surely it must exist as like its own creature, its own species. That's just the kind of world that Tag's world is. But I am gonna change the enemy ideas, you know. Um, what else is there to blow up? Oh yes! The train station! Yes! We're going to free the little spacecraft! Boing! Oh yeah, Canary Mary's there right now, she's ready to race. Oh boy! Not looking forward to that! It's gonna kill me! Literally, like, but when the episode ends, that's the last thing we're gonna do, and I am gonna be too tired to do anything else in the episode. Plus, the, we would have finished everything we wanted to do, or at least could do, that I can think of at the time in the world, so... Yeah, uh, finishing off this world with that race, I think is a good idea, folks. 
So, yeah, take my advice. Boom! And this actually leads to the next world. How cool is that? World 1 leads to world 2 with a uh, little uh, Dilberta with the rock in the prison compound of world 1. And this leads to world 2, Witchy World, which is cool. And that spacecraft, which is inside of that box there, oh, spoilers, is part of a little mini game, which we may or may not play. Uh, but the reason it's stopped there is because there's a gate that's locked in World 3 that we need to open in World 3. So, in an episode or two, we will get to that. Fun stuff. So we got ten minutes left for the episode. What do we do? Is there any other... Is there any other Boom Boom sticks we could destroy? DESTROY! <laughs> oh, God. Diesel 10. Love it. I want to voice Diesel 10 someday in literally anything. Ayo hey, Aaron, Stitch Underground, let me know, boys. Okay, I'm ready. Also, just because I'm, like, super popular does not mean that I don't want to work with the little people, okay? I am more than open to working with smaller YouTubers. In fact, I want to work with smaller YouTubers. Unless you're Mech, De Unless you're Mech Death Horse 4 or Pixel Tales, then kindly just, you know, fuck off. Seriously, like... I am, I am more like a passive aggressive with um, Mech Death Horse, so because you know at least he's actually tried with his ideas. Um, don't let the title of uh, the bashing that I plan to do on Multiverse Madness that you've done deceive you, Mech Death Horse. Okay, there are some good things. Yeah, audience, Anthony Enstone, I know, I know, but there are some good things in there that I did like, you know, little subtle things. Obese and Shadow Man had nothing to do with it, but, you know, because, uh, that's, that's, it's my thing, it's my thing, you, you stole it from me. They took it from me! They stole it from me, they took it! I don't know why I'm going this way, I guess I'm just making sure there's nothing else left. But yeah, there's, there's a few good things. Pixel Tales, however, oh my god, don't get me started. He is so lucky I'm not making a video about him. So lucky, I tell ya. Pixel Tales, if... if if I, myself, had ever made a video about you on my channel, oh, the things I'd say about you. Oh, oh boy. I could write a fucking book about all the shit Pixel Tales has done. I swear to God. The sh Some of the shit I wasn't even there for. That's how bad it is. I swear to God. Oh, it's awful, folks. It's awful. Pixel Tales done some pretty nasty shit. Fucking begging for the models of Special Strike miniseries when that was going to be a thing. Uh, before Hot Dog Man cancelled it. It's like, oh, I want to be your friend, hottest dog. Can we be friends? Yeah, it doesn't exactly work like that. I get to talk to the hottest dog, sure, but um, I don't think we see each other as like um, more than just um, acquaintances. We're not full-on friends because you know he he didn't accept my friend request, but we still talk. You know, he still oversees stuff that happens with Obese Episode Ten. But I feel like after that episode comes out we aren't going to interact that much, and you know, that's fine. I don't mind not interacting with the hottest dog that much, it doesn't, it doesn't keep me awake at night, Pixel Tales, and it won't keep you awake at night. I mean, I mean, you're probably a kid. No, no, you're not a kid, are you? Are you? No. No. No, you're not. And also, leaking the addresses of my friends, that ain't cool, bro. Don't do that. That is very much an offense that you can go to prison for. This is all you people watching the video. Remember, no YouTuber wants to be a Pixel Tales. <laughs> oh, I want to make that the f***ing uh, name of this episode. No YouTuber wants to be a Pixel Tales. I'm going to name that this f***ing episode, even though it's only like a five minute tangent that has nothing to do with anything. That's what I'm going to name this episode. Okay. <sighs> I'm not ready for this minigame. Oh, bruh. okay. Let's get a nice swig of tea. Let's get a large one. Mm. All right, folks. This is the last thing we're doing. Don't expect a massive outro after this because um, I'm gonna do the outro while I'm actually doing this. Um, yeah, how about I race to help me stretch him? Oh god. On this old hand cart, I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but then I fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Jump aboard. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Alright, guys. Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. Okay. I'm gonna do the, um, outro while I'm doing this mini game because I have to spam the X button. You can't hold it down, but okay. Alright. Uh, I don't think I can do the outro. Uh, uh, Bam. We're almost there. Uh, 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 oh. oh my god, no context. Oh my god. Someone take that f***ing uh, audio and put no context. Just put no visuals. Add zero visuals to that last bit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Oh my god, someone's gonna take that f***ing audio, and they're gonna post it on Twitter. <laughs> no, just get a picture of like a dark hallway with like an open door, and like muffle the audio slightly. <laughs> Somebody do that! Somebody please do that! Oh my god. No context, Ayo what's tag up to in his bedroom. I'm so glad no one is home right now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't! I can't! Oh my god, usually I'm worn out, but the fact that like what I said, I wasn't thinking about what I was saying. And I just f***ing burst into laughter, it's like, oh, oh, we're almost there, oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god, I f***ing can't, I f***ing can't. Oh my god, I think my neighbours are actually in home. And they're right next door. They're gonna hear. Oh my god, no! The ne the room next door to my bedroom, like n the next door's house. It's a fucking kids' room. Oh no! The fucking baby's gonna hear. Oh, oh <laughs> no! I can't, bro. No. <laughs> I should have like st I should have done the outro like in a minute ago, <laughs> and I'm still sitting here laughing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no words. Let's go, uh, there's a rock around here, we can use that now. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I f***ing can't, that was, no. No, that was too perfect, that was honestly the best moment of Tags Plays of all time. This is why you n people need to watch Tags Plays, for li the little golden moments like that sh Oh my god, that was f***ing amazing. I need to listen back to that after the f***ing recording. I need to hear that again. That was too good. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like suddenly when the whole Banjo-Tooie LP comes out, that's gonna like, and YouTube shows the most replayed part of a video. It's like Banjo-Tooie part 6, no employee, uh, no YouTuber wants to be a Pixel Tales. Has uh so has like ten thousand views and the others have like two hundred views. It's like oh I wonder what that is. What's the most viewed part? Oh oh we're almost there. Oh oh oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> f obese episode ten. F FNAF for the animated series. F the tag was f the tag movie. F the magic railroad chase. This is gonna be the video that puts me on the f map. 
Oh no! Oh, oh gorgeous. Best f moment of tags, please. Oh. Yes. Uh, anyways, guys. I think on that mental case of a note, we are gonna end. Hang on, how many f jiggies did we even get in Glitter Gulch Mine? Hang on. No, not Spiral Mountain. No. No. Seven. Okay, um. We did pretty good there. 48. Okay, so thanks very much for watching this episode of Tags Plays, folks, um, and Banjo Tui. I am gonna listen to that f audio back because that is easily the funniest sh I've ever done in my life. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sure you did. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye, I think. Yeah, bye. <laughs>